Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to RoboCo, the game where you build robots to complete tasks for silly humans. And, um, oh, <laughs> that was a lot of noise. Emergency shutdown initiated. Uh, property damage, upset human. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot that that was a thing. Oh, and there's like a, there's like a buildup now. Okay. So that's a lot of different stuff that I did not know was going to happen. I just wanted to push a human around, all right? But this one, this challenge right here, we have to bring coffee to a person at the table. But if we want to complete all of the challenges, we have to keep the cup of coffee full, so don't spill it. Uh, and we can't break the caution tape and get a coffee to the construction worker upstairs. So if I go on a free look, you can see there's a construction worker upstairs. And now normally this wouldn't be an issue, but don't break the caution tape and get a coffee to this guy up here. I don't know how that works because as you can see, if we go upstairs, it is completely blocked off by caution tape. Like we're not gonna be able to drive over here and give him the coffee. But also before I started this episode, I was trying to plan out and map out how I was gonna do this. And I didn't succeed by the way, but I did discover a lot of interesting stuff that you guys might wanna see. First of all, What's with the security camera? This is just a security camera just watching this guy eat lunch pretty much. We got a security camera here as well. Uh, we got other, we got a security camera. We got a lot of security cameras in this place, but this one that is just right here for this construction worker is a little odd. Uh, we also got some paintings that have some funny labels. This is, um, it's a banana. That's all, that's the description. It's a banana. Uh, this is starry, uh, starry stars, not starry nights. <laughs> It's just a bunch of scribbles. I think it might be inspired by some other paintings. I don't know though. Uh, this is Sphery Spheres. See, some see this as art. Starry stars, Sphery Spheres. And then of course, leafy leaves. This isn't even hotel art. So, uh, oh, and there's a hidden challenge right here. Bring the cupcake to the human downstairs. There's a lot of humans down. There's four humans downstairs. What does that mean? This human, maybe? But another thing I've noticed is there is a security room over here and there's a guy sleeping in the security room. So that's kind of interesting. There must be a way to open this door. I'm not too sure how. Also, there's a door over here and I kind of want to see if I can go through there right now. So let's put our follow camera back on. This is not going to be our official vehicle, by the way. This is just one that I have saved. <gasps> I didn't know that this was actually gonna open. We're like just the right size to get in here. Oh, and there's stairs? Okay, where's this go? Does this go to the security room? Oh no, I can't get up there. Oh, that is disappointing. These wheels aren't enough to get up the- Oh, 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 almost, almost. Yeah, these wheels don't have any grip. Or I'm just too heavy. Here, I'm curious, can I push these boxes? Nope, those boxes are pretty static, it seems like. All right, so it seems that there is access to the security room up here. I don't know why we need there. Oh, 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 oh. There's a hidden challenge over there. I don't know what it says. I'd have to get in there to see it. But uh, we're not gonna focus on the hidden challenges yet because we have a normal challenge to do it that I think is gonna be hard enough. And then after this episode, then we can maybe focus on hidden challenges because I found out that um, there are hidden challenges on all of the previous levels. So I really gotta look out for those. All right, so if we're gonna do this, uh, let's actually experiment with the caution tape. How does the caution tape function? If you touch it, does it break? Okay, well, if that happens, it breaks. But do it, does it have some strength is what I'm asking. Like if I push my way through this. Okay, all right, now that makes sense. So we can actually potentially move uh, the caution tape out of the way. All right, that's all I wanted to know. That makes this doable now, maybe. Okay, so now... Oh, whoa, that's interesting. This spill is a solid object. Oh, and I'm just realizing that th it also changes the, uh, the friction. The spill has less friction. Look at that. I didn't know that. That's another factor. Are you kidding me right now? Look at the low friction. All right, so we're gonna have to go over here and we're gonna have to, uh, pick up a coffee cup and then put it underneath the coffee stream and then carry it over to that table and then get another coffee cup and do the same thing and bring it all the way upstairs and put it on the table for that construction worker. That's that's what we need to do. 
So if we can build a machine that can move the caution tape and pick up a coffee cup, we should be able to do this challenge. So let's go ahead and go into build mode and let's just go ahead and delete our bot. We're starting from scratch here. All right, so as usual, I'm going to start with a heavy base because I think that, that is just the easiest thing to do. This is going to be a relatively small bot. Um, I'm hope I really hope that I can make this thing do what I need it to do. And what we're going to focus on is we're going to have a controllable piston that goes up and down with a grabber that can go in and out. And I'm hoping that that's going to allow us to maybe place the coffee at any height that we need it to. Okay, so now pistons, I think, are really going to be what makes this thing work. So let's go with a piston that is roughly the size of the table. All right, a little bit smaller. All right, now on top of this piston, I'm going to put a DC motor. And we need a rod coming out of the DC motor. And then we're just going to put a block on top of that. And then attach a small piston to the front of that. And I guess I should have... I should move this whole assembly back oh, there we go that is easy look at that so that goes back here because then this needs to cut oh whoops i forgot to we gotta put that in there because this needs to come out like this and then on the end of the piston is going to be a grabber but this grabber is going to go that way for the cup of coffee oh yeah this this could be all we need for the coffee portion i don't know exactly how the caution tape is going to work just yet all right now let's program this thing up all right, so now I should be able to go up, down. I'm gonna slow that down for sure. Um, and then I can go out and in, and then I can go, oh, I gotta slow that down. <laughs> so imagine the cup of coffee swinging around like that. Oh boy. All right, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and adjust some of these speeds. All right, acceleration time down a lot. Uh, max velocity down. Max RPM way down. All right, how's this feel? All right, that's good. Yeah, that's nice and controlled. All right, that should be enough. Yeah, that should definitely be enough to manage the coffee. So smooth, it's so satisfying. Feels like I have so much control now. All right, uh, so let's just make sure that this works before we deal with the other part. I'm gonna make this much smaller. I'm way too wide for this. So, oh wow, this is like almost the perfect height. All right, so I think I need to go a little bit higher, actually, almost. All right, so we go like this, we extend it out, and then we grab. I didn't set a grabbing control, dang it. All right, the claw has C for claw. All right, now that I'm able to grab these things, let's see here. Uh, go up, we go over, we go forward, and then we grab, and then we go up. Okay, here we go. Oh man, oh man. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about the jerkiness of the tank steering here. All right, all right. This isn't the slipperiness of the floor is not helping either. All right, come on. Here we go. Come on. Is it full? All right, look at that. It's full. I don't know how spilling works with this. All right, turn. Go forward. There we go. We don't, why don't we bring this down for stability and bring this in for stability? Ugh. All right, here we go. If you hold shift, you can uh, you can use your motor, your wheel motors at half speed. So that's pretty useful. All right, we're in the coffee zone. Here it goes. So now, up a little bit. We go forward a little bit. We go down a little bit. And we release. All right. Don't break the caution tape so far. All right, so now we just gotta get a cup of coffee to the construction worker. Um, I don't know if I can do that with this current vehicle unless I pave the way. So here's what we gotta do. We gotta go up and I'm gonna use my grabber to hopefully move the caution tape out of the way. All right, let's see if this actually works. All right, so what I'm gonna do is grab this. Oh, hold on. 
Oh, I, the art is all the art is all free floating. I can knock all that stuff over. It doesn't say don't break art. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab. Oh, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna move it this way. This is very very strange caution tape, isn't it? Here, we're gonna go. Ah! I broke- where did I break the caution to- I, oh, I was trying so carefully. All right, now I have a game plan, but here, let me just see what happens if I go through this place. I just want to destroy some stuff. Yeah! Ah! Ah, look at all the penalties! Can I- can I break this? Please tell me I can break this too. Oh, I can! We can cause utter destruction! Look at this! <laughs> This is amazing. Oh, now they're qu slow to react on the emergency shutdown there. Oh, look at this. We have 12 out of 10 penalties. <laughs> all right, all right. Now that I know what I can and can't do, uh, we have to avoid breaking stuff as well. I didn't realize that. I mean, it makes sense. I just didn't think that they actually put that mechanism in there. All right, so now I'm making my vehicle a lot skinnier. I think being thin is going to help us maybe even a little bit more, actually. I think we're plenty we're plenty heavy enough at the base, and a cup of coffee is not really going to weigh that much. But this should be the vehicle that can do it all, I think. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is prioritize caution tape. So I'm going to take care of all the caution tape first and clear myself a path. And then once that is clear, then I can actually focus on delivering coffee. So hopefully I can do this without too much of an issue. We are grabbing the caution tape. And I'm just going to slowly rotate that way. And I'm just gonna move this very gently over here. All right, let go. There we go, that's good. All right, now we just have the other one over here. Yeah. Now we gotta not break the art. If I can get my vehicle through here, I can get the coffee through here. All right. Now we take the caution tape. I'm so happy that this caution tape is mobile and we don't just have to avoid it. All right, and I think, I think that's good enough. Yeah, we have a path now. All right, now let's not destroy anything. Let's bring our grabber back in. All right, gentle. Got a lot of fine art. Some of these are actually pretty cool. All right, there we go, and off we go. All right, now we just gotta not spill the coffee and not mess up our controls as we're bringing the- Oh, is the coffee gonna spill when I bring it up that ramp? I didn't think about that. Let's do that first. We're gonna prioritize the construction worker. If we can get the construction worker, we know at least that we can get the guy down here. All right, excuse me, sir. All right, piston up. Claw forward. Do I actually have it by the handle? Oh, that's amazing. All right, and then forward. All right, coffee's full. This is awesome. I don't know, I don't know what spilling the coffee entails. I don't know if I just have to go to like jerky or what will cause it to actually spill. Okay, it's gentle. Oh yeah, I'm not going after that guy, I'm going up here. All right, let's go fast. All right, now gentle. All right, here's a moment of truth. Does this make it spill? It's not spilling so far. Oh, what about getting over that? Oh, getting over the uh, angle here might be tough. At, at a slow speed. Oh no. All right, here's what we have to do. We have to go at an angle like this. Uh, I don't have a lot of wiggle room here. All right, but if I go at an angle like this, I'll have more contact with the ground. Yeah, there we go. All right, big brain there. <gasps> saw a little bit of coffee come out, so I'm gonna be careful going fast. I'm just gonna feather the throttle. All right, go slow around the fine art. 
Okay. Let me throttle to go faster. Slow. Uh, it's working. Hello, sir. Did you order a coffee? Um, up. Oh, uh oh, my left controls went went away. All right, forward, down, and release. All right, he's happy. He is happy. Now let's go ahead and I think as long as I don't make any grave mistakes, we should be able to complete this challenge 100%. All right, gentle, gentle, gentle robot. I feel like a bull in a china shop right now. All right, here we go. There we go. Full speed ahead now. Woo! All right. Now we just got the easy part, I hope. <laughs> okay, excuse me, sir. Can you not stand in the way? Thank you. I don't want to annoy any humans. All right, here it goes. Uh, up. Go forward. We grab it. And then go over here. Yeah. All right. Um. All right, and extend it forward. Come on. There we go. It's nice and full. And bring it back. Now just go back slowly. Okay. There it goes. Nice and gentle around the caution tape, scrap man. This should be it. It looks like I'm like almost the perfect height already. So let's extend this forward. Here you go, sir. Coffee for you. Look at that. And I think we've done it. We complete. Name your robot. Wait, why is a wheel missing? A wheel is missing from my robot. What is happening here? All right, it's uh, obviously coffee bot. And a block's missing up here. I hope it didn't, like, save it like that. All right, so that gives us all four bits for a perfect completion on that one. And I found out that these squares here are actually hidden challenges. So in Sandwich Server, there are two hidden challenges, or at least two squares worth of hidden challenges. I don't know if a hidden challenge can be worth one or more, uh, or more than one square. So, uh, if you guys are enjoying this so far, then next time we will definitely be doing hidden challenges. They might even be harder and require a bunch of really weird stuff. Who knows? As always, if you want to help support the channel, links are in the description down below on different ways to interact with the channel. If you want to see more RoboCo, then go ahead and check out the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.